And if it ain't happened yet, it's still gonna be going on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, I wasn't even prepared for that. I ain't never had now one of my men I'm taking care of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Pooh Shiesty was born as Lontrell Donnell Williams Jr. in Memphis on the 8th of November, 1999. Shiesty isn't the only rapper in the family. His father was also a decent rapper, who had co-founded a small record label called Mob Ties Records. Shiesty never told his father that he was interested in rap and started making songs alone. In 2020, Gucci Mane saw his potential and signed him to his music label 1017 Records. Before this, the Memphis rapper always avoided becoming part of a certain crew. Even when he had just started rapping in Memphis, he refused to join the two big rap gangs and created his own group. Before we get started, make sure to press the like button and leave a comment on this video. In this video, we'll talk about what's going on with Pooh Shiesty's trial and what's the latest development. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Robbery Case Things were going so well for Williams in 2020, but then in October he got himself in some serious trouble. Shiesty got charged with the shooting and robbery of two men outside the Landon Hotel in Bay Harbor Islands, Florida. The FBI had two main suspects for this incident. One was Shiesty, and the other was his friend Bobby Brown. According to the FBI report, both of these men shot the other guys in the parking lot for a deal gone wrong when they were trying to purchase high-end athletic sneakers and marijuana from them. The Memphis rapper had arrived in a McLaren, which he had rented from one of the men he shot. Their dispute was related to monetary issues, which even included McLaren's car payment. Before they could come to a common ground, Shiesty and his friend Brown whipped out their guns and shot the guys in their hips. The surveillance footage caught the whole thing, which helped the FBI in finding the culprits easily. One of the victims quickly identified Shiesty as the shooter, which is why he got arrested with non-bailable warrants. Instagram Evidence While running away from the scene, a Louis Vuitton bag fell from the McLaren, and it had $40,912 in cash. The investigators traced that money to Shiesty from one of his Instagram posts. He had recently posted a picture with guns and $100 bills. The serial number on the $100 bills matched with the cash found in a Louis Vuitton bag. As soon as he was arrested, it became clear that the case against him would be extremely strong. This time, he was facing possible life imprisonment, if the charges against him were proven to be true. In October, the rapper had pleaded not guilty and was planning on fighting all the charges. But then all the evidence against him started piling up, and his old charge sheet was also not making his case better. Just a few days before his trial was about to begin, Shiesty changed his plea and said that he would accept the conviction on the first count. It was a conspiracy to possess a firearm in furtherance of violent and drug trafficking crimes. But he had conditioned that the prosecutors needed to drop the other three counts. Loss of Brother On 28th of February 2021, Williams lost his brother Terrence Henderson, aka T to P. He was also a rapper. Earlier, many media outlets reported that he had been shot in relation to their ongoing investigation, but later the family debunked this news. Shiesty's father told their son was battling brain cancer and eventually succumbed to it. T to P had released his album Halftime earlier the same year. His memorial service was held on the 10th of March, where the family said their final goodbyes. In his speech, Shiesty got extremely emotional and called his brother his strength. He also made a promise to him to take care of his brother's son. He also told his mother that he won't cause any trouble for her anymore. Latest update in the Pooh Shiesty case. Initially, William tried to plead not guilty, but that wouldn't have done him any favors. His only chance of avoiding a life sentence is by acknowledging that he's been an active member of the group that conspired to use or carry firearms during and in relation to, and to possess firearms in furtherance of, drug trafficking crimes and activities. If he would accept this charge and provide information about the other conspirators, only then the prosecutors will take a look at his revised indictment. The Bay Harbor Islands Hotel shooting isn't the only case in which Pooh Shiesty is fighting at the moment. He's also been accused of shooting at a Memphis gas station in July 2020 and engaging in a fight at King of Diamonds Gentlemen's Club in Miami-Dade County in May 2021. All these cases have made it easy for prosecutors to prove in court that Shiesty is in fact a danger to society and won't change his ways if the judge will show him lenience. The Duration of Pooh Shiesty's Punishment In the last proceedings, the judge Lauren Fleischer Lewis has accepted Shiesty's plea deal, but she also cautioned him that the sentence of a maximum of eight years is not guaranteed. Although his deal has gained some votes and looks like it will fall through, but the final call will be made by Chief Judge K. Michael Moore. His decision will be final, and William's fate is now totally in his hands. For now, no new further date is given for his sentence hearing. What's next for Pooh Shiesty and his career? Shiesty has been locked up since the mid of 2021. 
Though 2020 was truly his breakout year, with him claiming the third spot on the Billboard chart, he hasn't been able to do much with his success. Neither is he in the position to release more songs, nor can he go on tours. The case has certainly made him more notorious, which means whatever he will release next will grab the attention of the public. His label mates have been releasing music actively, while he's shown his support for them. Some weeks ago, he has also released his mixtape, Federal Contraband. It features freestyle rapping that he sent from his jail phone to his producer. The lawyer of the rapper is also trying to gain the judge's sympathy by convincing them that his career has been put on hold for the last two years. They're using his achievements as a rapper to show that he'll become a better person in the future, as music is his main passion. With that, we've come to the end of the video. Tell us what do you think? Is Pooh Shiesty guilty or is he being framed? Let us know in the comments section below and tell us what should our next video be about. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Also, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss an update.